state police got a car pulled over. <laughs> Let's see what grounds they have. So the trooper's ID and the guy in the back seat.
Hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, you're not interrupting me. I'm just watching this cop violate all kinds of rights. <laughs> yeah. So how's City Hall? Really? No. Any more? no. He's got guts. I do. Why? What's up? <laughs> oh my gosh. This and everything else, right? Yeah. Is the store still open? What's, what's this? I think it's closed. It might be still open. What's, what's going on? You know, have any idea? Like a back? <laughs> I have no idea. The trooper set, cuffed the driver, said that he couldn't ID the driver, and then cuffed the guy in the back seat, said he couldn't ID him. So the guy's on the hood of the car there is, is cuffed? Yeah. And the, and the gal with the driver's seat's cuffed? No, the guy in the red hat's cuffed. The two guys over there are cuffed. Oh, I got you now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky you oh, I see the driver's seat's empty. I didn't, yeah. I didn't quite that. Lucky it wasn't me. I would have sat there and said, my address is 1122 Fuck You Avenue. So I've got I've got court on the twentieth, right? Uh huh. So I, I did this ride Sunday meet up at the Mercado for this uh what they say it was critical mass uh, climate extinction version because there's extinction re uh, resistance, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so anyhow I went to that ride and, and now there was a handful of us, there wasn't many. But anyhow the point of it is at the end of the ride they give me these posters and the uh, global cl climate strike is September 20th. Mm -hmm. See, it's a whole time. That's when my next uh, court date is. Mm -hmm. 10 o'clock on the 20th. Yeah. The rally at City Hall is 10, 10.30. Then they're going to go across the Hawthorne Bridge to OMSI. 
Mm -hmm. and, the, and the kids are all supposed to quit school to go do this because this mm -hmm. is a kid-driven thing. Right? Yeah. Because of Greater Thunberg, right? So anyhow, for me, it was just like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Big rally at City Hall, and, and I've got to be in court. <laughs> but it's uh, Judge Marshall. Yeah. Not the worst. Not the best. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to who? Uh, let's see, I can name a whole bunch of judges better. What do you know about Judge Marshall that you want to say while you're recording the cop over here? <laughs> <laughs> he gave me 90 days uh -huh. for violating my probation for trespass. Wait, so so what was your uh, what was your probation for? Uh, interfering with a police officer. Okay, so while that was going on, you had a trespass charge? Yeah. And they gave you 90 days in custody? Yeah. For violating, for that trespass charge while you're on probation for the other one? Yeah. And what would you expect them to do? Uh, let's see now. A lot of, a lot of people get away with fines. Uh-huh. A lot of people get away with one or two days in jail. Oh, it's a sanction. Yeah. But not 90 days. No, it was a, it was a 90 day sanction for a probation violation. days in custody? Yeah. Well, not a full 90 days. I still got good time credits. So I did about oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 80. They knocked it off with good time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you did this, you, you had to serve that. Yeah. Like that. Hmm. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, the maximum sentence on a trespass is 30 days. So I had a chance mm -hmm. in my uh, spare time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I followed up on the uh, April 15, 2015 City Council hearing mm -hmm. on the uh, development fees that they used to pay for parks. <laughs> because I knew that that day they made the decision and ended up giving $500,000 in development fees back to Lewis mm -hmm. Clark College. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the same week that a $500,000 grant came through from the federal government mm -hmm. to build a park in, uh, in the Kelly neighborhood. Yeah. So here's 500 grand coming in from the feds, and here's 500 grand going out to Lewis and Clark College <laughs> the same week, right? Yeah. I was like, what the what? So I looked up that hearing, and it turns out that the University of Portland was part of the consortium that uh, Lewis and Clark didn't make an appearance that day. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, it was like, what had happened was the city wanted the colleges to build student housing so that the presence of the college didn't impact the neighbors yeah. in the community who were displaced because they needed to supply housing for students right so if they built the dorms then that wouldn't be a that wouldn't be an issue the impact of the neighborhood right? mm -hmm. so that was kind of the 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 deal the city says we want you to build student housing so you don't screw up the neighborhoods next to your college and then when they built the student housing the city says well you're building this housing you're adding to the housing footprint so that means people are going to have demand to use parks people that use parks have to pay for the park so the development fee includes that so you mm -hmm. know up the loop and then the universities came in with the counter argument as no 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 we're the opposite of parks we actually have your people walking dogs on our <laughs> campus 
<laughs> we build our own swimming pools. <laughs> we don't need your swimming pools, right? Yeah. And so that was the whole argument of the colleges is, is that, hmm. no, no. And you're, you're asking us to build the student housing, and then when we do, you tax us, so you know, all right. screw you. So that was the whole logic of it all. But basically, it was the big give, giveaway mm-hmm. back to those particular interests. Mm-hmm. And I don't have a problem with it, except that the campus safety at Lewis and Clark College scarred my head on the paving stones mm-hmm. and got away with it. 